Well, looky what we have here. The greatest roundup of wares in the West. Real question is, looking around here, is where are the wares? Buffalo, it's the sometimes blow. You noticed that I went buffalo and then immediately <laughs> shot down like at the most unflattering angle I possibly could have on your body. Yeah, I've been losing weight too. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> Tyler, welcome to Frontierland at Disneyland. You can hear Fantasmic in the background. You can see Fantasmic people. <laughs> see what I kind of... I made it like fantastic is what I did there. Hello, everybody. You're actually watching this from the future. No, we're in the, we're in the past. Oh. And they're watching they're it in, in the, the future. They're in the future of now, and they're, they're looking back into the... You're looking into the past. So I'm in the past, and you're in the future. We're in the future. No. We're in the past, they're in the future. Hopefully these pimples are gone by now. What's happening is, at this moment, right now in time, I'm on vacation. With people that vaguely look like you. My family. Oh. And I really wanted Tyler to take over the vlog and just do sometimes vlogs for four days in a row, like a guest house, like Johnny Carson. But here's the thing, I neither asked him to do that, nor will I, because we're doing this instead. Nice. So it's the sometimes vlog from yeah. the past future. The reason why I can't do the vlog is not because my family's with me, it's because we're going into Yosemite. Yosemite. Mm. Yosemite. The Great National Falls. Yosemite. Yus and Yosemite. there's no cellular telephone service there uh -huh. with which to upload a vlog, Tyler. That's what since I hear. You've been there a I lot. Sometimes. And because of that, I was really worried about not getting a vlog to you, so we're getting a vlog to you now. And I thought, instead of me wandering around and talking about anything meaningful right. or important, yeah. or these really these pimples. You're really worried Dude, about that. Dude, I'm like 30 years old and I'm getting more pimples now than I've ever gotten in my life. Bro, you are older than 30. I am, a little bit. <laughs> this is <laughs> mackerel, you didn't need to say that <laughs> though, right? <laughs> right, guy? Yeah. So, <laughs> so anyways. I decided instead of saying something meaningful or working hard and coming mm. up with an idea, I would drag Tyler away from whatever Tyler does Appreciate before it. going to bed and keep him up longer than normal with the sun time vlog. So now we were going to sit outside and just talk to you calmly from a bench. I love that in idea. In Frontierland, but now oh, a no. Fantasmic's happening. Darn it. And it's too loud. Well, so instead we're just hanging out in Frontierland. Now I am planning on doing a whole random video in Frontierland. So I want to be very careful. Not to reveal too much? Just not to show too yeah. much of this amazing place and these amazing oh, things. Absolutely. Mirror! Oh my gosh, there's a mirror here. Somebody died in the 19th century and they were, and there was a mirror in the room and they could see the mirror. They covered the mirrors because they believed that the dead person would go in the mirror. What do you think about that? I think that it's got a 99% chance of being inaccurate. So you think there, there's a 1% chance that there's a ghost in this mirror? Yeah, one. A 1% 1 chance. Like, I like those odds. The odds are better that I will be six foot tall. That you I'll probably will grow. be one day, man. You're growing. You're growing more handsome by the day. I like to measure myself against the wall. So now Knott's Berry Farm, I recently vlogged there, and by recently, of course, I'm in the past. So that's several weeks ago. Mm. This, is, this isn't weird, just two dudes with their arms around each other. It's illegal now. At Knott's Berry Farm, the weirdest museum in the West, where they had a collection of actual weird barbed wire there. And here, you can see Disneyland has the remnants of a weird barbed wire collection too, and also some horse plow things. What do you call that? Horse, horse collar wears one. I mean, his is a horse collar, mm. but I don't know that that's what you actually call it. Wow. Yeah, like the thing you put the oxen in the things. A bustle. Okay, it's an ox. It's an oxen bustle. It's a horse bustle. Horse bustle. Sexy for your horse wife. Yep. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, let's talk about something else. Now we're here in the past. As you can see, there's still buffalo and wheels. Bolo ties. Bolo ties are vi fine. Bolo ties are in fashion. We're so far in the past from where you are now. That bolo ties are in fashion. Also, whatever this is. Fine quality flannel is what this is. This is most... What did I you say when you shirt. walked in? You said there's more quality I, flannel in here than you expected? I just said, like, this is some high quality flannel. And I wasn't even trying to do a bit. I was no, just, you weren't. Because you would probably wear that. I could actually picture you wearing I that. I would wear the red one. You would go full Hank Hill and wear the red one? Yeah, for sure. You would definitely do that. Okay, so but okay, so right now... So right now we're in the past. Right. 
of our hearts. What do you think? The, but they're in the future. So what do you think? And this is what I wanted to talk to you about on the bench when there was still light and silence out there, and back when a man could think mm. and yeah. roam and. When a man's feed and grain were important things to him. When feed and grain just keeps going. and scoops were part of the daily routine of your life and you worked hard on the farm and whatever a hearth is. We look really red in this spot. I always do. In the moments before bed, after mm. working on the farm, you would think to yourself, I grew food Yeah. that I will later eat. Mm -hmm. I will feel full from the fruit of my own labor, literally maybe for if you were growing plums or cherries or something. Hopefully one day there will be a television show about four retired ladies in Florida and they'll call it the Golden Girls. Do you think that in the past, let's talk about the past first, let's okay. just riff on the past, because mm. do you think that back when farming was a big deal, which I mean it obviously still is, but most of this state it still is. When most people had to farm, yeah, and most people had to farm corn and pigs and things that uh -huh. grow. Do you think that the guy that grew cherries, people were just like, Joe Cherry? No, not, like, don't you think that like if you grew cherries and strawberries and stuff, all the other farmers were like, Do you even corn, bro? <laughs> Look at this loser. Look at this idiot. Oh, he wants to be a ballerina and grow cherries. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, what do you think they thought of the guy actually? Even better, because ladies love cherries. I feel like most people grew those in their gardens on farms. But let's say you had a farm that grew cherry tomatoes. Yeah, you won't. You, when you walked into town and yeah. Ellen Shaw, Kansas. I just made up a town, hopefully. Mm -hmm. uh, and hopefully that's not real, but Ellen Shaw, Ellen Kansas. Shaw, Kansas, where you can farm stuff. And uh, you walk into Ellen Shaw on yeah. Main Street. As you do. As you do uh -huh. on a daily basis when you farm. And you're like, um, like what we did there. We did it. We yeah. made a show. That's good. And you go in and Quality. you're like, everyone's like, yep. Corn getting pretty tall this year. Gonna win a Grammy. I like that. I like that. Peter's coming in. I'm gonna grow them good. Feed stock. And then yo, old Joe walks in. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. My cherry tomatoes are doing good. Why do they all talk like that? I don't think they talk like that in Kansas. No. But for the sake of the. But then they're gonna the excommunicate him. Yeah. So well, like, I think all, all the other farmers. Not gonna exist for a while, guy. Yeah. All the other farmers are like, "What are you growing those for?" Go ahead. Don't women so, grow those in gardens? Justin, can I ask you a history question? Sure. I thought about this today. It's an interesting question. Okay. Who was president when your grandfather's father was born? When my grandfather's father was born. Ooh, that was 1898. Was it? Don't know what. who is president. That's an interesting, can you Google it? When my grandfather's other father was born. When your grandfather's that, other father? When my other grandfather's <laughs> yeah. father was born. Yeah. He would have been born around the time... What's his face is president? Oh, Oops. President, what's his face? Um, that with the World War One. Oh, what was that guy's name? Joe? Can't remember. Bobby. So Kennedys were not around yet. Yeah. That wasn't a thing. I'm. So, who was president in 1898? Zachary Tom. I'm gonna look Roy? it up. You think it's Zachary Taylor who was not? No, president Zachary Taylor was president after the Mexican War. Yes, he was. So and then you had. Um, Somebody. Then you had no. Um, you had Taylor and then Lincoln, Washington, right? Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Mass, Monroe, Adams, Jackson, Grant, Harrison, Tyler, Polk, Taylor, Fillmore, Pierce, McCann, Lincoln, Johnson, Grant, Fillmore, Hayes, Pierce, Cleveland, McCann, Harrison, Lincoln, Lincoln. Lincoln. William Hayes. McKinley was president. William McKinley. I knew that the whole time. I just wanted to see if you could Google it. Mine was Rutherford B. Hayes. Here's the real question now. What do you think? Now they're in it, so they know. So they're gonna have a hell of a laugh at this. What do you think the future's like? Well, that's a good question. What is a week from now like? It, it's the future. Just think in more general terms than that. Don't uh, ruin the vlog. Okay. I think that cars definitely run on corn husks. Mm -hmm. Like, for ethanol. sure. Definitely ethanol. Corn husks. Mostly. Um, I think that horse meat is making a comeback. Isn't um, that already happening? Kind of. I think the drought has been abolished. They abolished the drought? And it's the drought, and that it's been replaced by wildfires. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that a man's will to handsome is no longer based on his beard hair, but by his ankle hair. I hope you can't see me. It's the only logical but, explanation. Uh -huh. I think that... Who's president? Oh, in a, in the future? Yeah, in the future. Who's president? Oh, okay. 
He didn't know the answer because they're living in the future. That's the crazy part. It's for sure hologram Liberace. Mm -mm. You don't think so? My prediction for the uh, future, Barack Obama is going to be president. Even though he was already president twice. You think? I think in the future. Uh-huh. Some point in the future. Obama is still president. You think? Oh, I get what you're saying. Michelle Obama. Well, you never know. Hillary Clinton might be president. It's kind of weird. Could be. This is weird. Yeah. Like, this not. we're not playing politics. No politics. Because you could vote for a Hillary and I could vote for Donald Trump. I mean, both of those things somebody, are things. Somebody could vote for him. It could somebody. Happen. Yeah. So, it could happen. Marla Maples. It doesn't matter. So we're not playing any politics here, but don't you think it's weird? Like, if Hillary Clinton became the president, don't you think that would just be weird? Only if... Like, didn't you used to... It'd be like if... It would be like if, in ninth grade, you had this math teacher. Yeah. Mr. Quarles. Miss Espinosa. Miss Esp Mr. Espinosa. Mm -hmm. And you just knew him, and you had him in 10th grade, too, and it was like, all right, guy. Yeah. And then in 11th grade, you had Mr. Smith. And then in 12th grade, you came back and had Mrs. Espinosa. Oh. And you were like, I'm not saying it's bad, because ladies can do stuff. I heard. But it's just weird. Uh, like, ladies, didn't you used yeah. to be the wife of the other person that was my Ladies can teacher? do stuff, I learned from Frozen. No, but didn't you used oh. to be the wife? You used to be the wife yeah. of my other of the other guy that was my math teacher. Right. And now you're my math. You teacher. know what would? So make, what you're telling me is now you're my math teacher. You know what would make my head explode? Not in a dynamite. Rage, not in a rage way, but mm -hmm. in a crazy pills way. Mm -hmm. Let's say like Hillary Clinton. Let's say runs two terms and wins both terms, mm -hmm. and then afterwards Chelsea Jeb, Clinton, Jeb Bush. No. So we just go like Clinton Bush. No Bush. Clinton, yeah, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Bush Clinton, we'll Bush. We'll just skip Obama yeah. to Clinton to Bush. Yeah, that would be insane. That would be insane. We need some more variety. Like, I don't know that we have the option, but I feel like it would be cool if we all had the option to just say, no more dynasties for now. Just yeah. let's put the dynasty. Maybe let's get a Kennedy back in the mix. <laughs> let's just see what's up. Are there any left? There's some Kennedys. Are there any Kennedys oh, left? Oh, um, yeah. Maria yeah. Shriver could run for president. RFK had like 16 sons. Okay, so, so we're good. So there's hope for America. Yeah. I think old Teddy Boy did too. Wait, were any of our RFK sons like super cool? Though? Well, I don't know any Do any of them know karate or anything? Probably. I want a president that knows karate. If the president doesn't know karate, I want a president who's at least young and fit enough that uh -huh. they have the potential to still learn karate. I to want learn them to karate. Be, yeah, to still learn karate. And if they can't do any of that, first things first, we're going to go to Disneyland, we're going to go into Adventureland, we're going to mail them the power of the Cobra bracelet. Teddy so that Roosevelt we know that they can knew punch. martial arts. Teddy knows it. Teddy knows about it. Teddy knows of it. Teddy Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt probably invented the Cobra. He invented Cobras for sure. And power. And the word of. Ever heard of it? That was pretty much what he was known for, that little Rough Rider. Let's go this way. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh, look at arrows. You can use those to pierce your ear. Oh, yeah? yeah. I don't have any piercings myself. How are you guys doing? Doing pretty good. Lots of mini stuff happening. That's cool. So we just made friends. That was nice. You know what's weird is that there was a lot of people talking to us earlier. Now there's no one talking to us. I don't feel like nobody likes us anymore. It's, it's okay. Really people kept hugging me. Who kept hugging you? People. I didn't. I never touched you. you That's a hundred percent true. I like. This is what's really funny, guys. I mean, you're watching this from the future, so this happened a week ago. So we're probably better friends by now than what we are right now, wouldn't you say? Yeah, probably. In the future, probably. Or worse friends. Growing. Maybe we're not even friends by this point, which would be kind of actually... Kind Leave of... a comment and let us know. Yeah, let us know if we're still friends. <laughs> so, so here's a funny one. I made Tyler come here. He went to work. He Didn't went so to do some stand-up comedy. Yeah. And then I kind of... Well, friendship made you. I made you come here. And this is actually basically when we started hanging out was when we started this. Yeah. So this is our real hangout time because in actual fact when I hang this up he's going to go, well man, blah blah blah, he's probably going to say something nice and non-committal to me and just pokes you with my thumb right there. And then he's going to leave. Sounds accurate. You're actually watching our real life hangout at this point. It's good. How come you don't love me anymore and never hang out? I do love just you. Putting I just, you on blast on camera. I just work full time uh -huh. and I got a new thing I'm doing. With no, my, fiance? My, well, no, well, that's not what I meant. Well, I go to places and talk listen, Tyler. And all I want to go, all I want to say is that you're acting like you're acting like that your job and your rent 
uh-huh. and your gas bill and your fiance, as if yeah. she'll be around very long, and your comedy are really important. Right. You're acting like I mean, you still show up for the vlogs. Yeah. And every when I ask you to, you still show up and hang out and do randomly and stuff. You're still, I think you're still doing some stuff on the website every now and then. I do. Yeah, it's new stuff right now. But you're not hanging out with me literally every minute of the day when I want you to. So I feel like you're being a slacker and a kind of a jerk. Well, I would retort that you know. What's retort mean? Uh, it means yeah. to say. Are you calling me a retort? In response. Yes, kinda. I would say in retort that you know what my address is, and that you can pop by anytime. Really? Yeah. Like anytime? I feel like it? Yeah. What if it's two in the morning, and I'm nude? I'll be asleep, but you can hang out on the porch. <laughs> it's just basically like me laying in bed, being grumpy, and Adam watching Three's Company. Why is she not during that? She's she, watching Three's Company too. She goes to sleep like Three's Company too. There's four of us in that place. Come and knock on our door. Come and knock on our door. Come hang out with us four. Come hang out with them four. Where the kisses are separated, of course. And I don't get any. Four people at our house. That fell apart. Not me. Right in the middle. But I thought we knew. <laughs> yeah. Kinda. It's pretty much the greatest song ever. So you're literally going to leave now. Well, not right now. Why? What are we going to do? You're going to ride on Small World? No. Why don't you ever want to ride on Small World? I don't want to offend anybody. I'll just say it's not my favorite ride in the park. Okay, well then you'll go ride the Tower of Terror with me right now then, right? Nope. Because DC is closed. Sorry, buddy. But if it were open, you would totally do it. Oh, I mean, theoretically, yes, I would. What about the Matterhorn? I'll, I'll ride the Matterhorn with you. Okay, so you're cool with the Matterhorn. Yeah. What else do you uh, Just Tower of Terror and Small World. What about the Tiki Room? I love the Tiki Room. Dang it, there's something else you don't like, I'm telling you. The dentist. I don't like the dentist. That's what I was thinking of, yeah. the dentist. I knew it. I was trying to think. Knew it. Most things I love. I used to not like, um, I can't even remember. I like everything. We should start a podcast. <laughs> 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 I don't know why that's so funny. But it is. Where did the sound come from? Oh, you and me should start like a, a video podcast where we go on road trips and put a camera in the car and, and film our real conversations. Oh yeah, we can do that. We should start. We've been planning on that for over a year. Yeah, we should start. So another... we should start by you actually coming somewhere with us. Where was that squeaking coming from? Did you guys hear the squeaking? Where was that squeak? I just want to know because I want to make that sound. Oh my gosh, I want to make that sound so bad. See, you knew. Thank you, Patricia. That was so helpful. <gasps> Nope, this one's not doing it. It's broken. Oh! This is now the officially most obnoxious sound I've heard at a gift shop at Disneyland. 100%. Patricia hates you right now, Tyler. I'll stop. Well, she loves you, but she doesn't like the sound you're making. A layer of respect. She's a layer of respect <laughs> of pepper with hate, but seriously. Dreidel, 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 I made you have a play. Okay, that's the second most, or that's the most obnoxious. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. We have to decide. We have to decide. Is that the most obnoxious sound you could hear all day while working in a store? These people definitely think so, but the people in Adventureland think a different sound is the most obnoxious sound, which I'll tell you right now is less obnoxious on the surface, but could be more obnoxious if you have to hear it all day. You decide right now, Tyler. You're gonna vote on this because you're the grumpiest person that I know. Okay. You're not the, literally the grumpiest person that I know. No. But you're pretty hashtag grumpy sometimes. Hello, look at all these strangers. Hello, strangers. Hi, strangers. Look at all these people. Tyler, come yeah. with me I'm coming. into a world of fantasy, song, imagination. Hold this. Just no. Nope. No. Nope. We'll put this right. Get out of the way, Maraca thing. You hold this. Okay. Hello. We're trying to decide what's the most annoying sound in the whole park to listen to if you're a cast member, Kevin, all day long. You think that's it? I don't want to do this. That's kind of soothing. At first, you can imagine all day. Kevin wins. Kevin wins. Okay, Kevin, what were you doing? Hold that up. Because they have dog toys across the in Frontierland. Wait, do that again. Yep, Kevin wins. Kevin wins. wins. Okay, Kevin, you beat it. This is the power of the Cobra Helm. That's like a rattlesnake, but worse. It's like your mother-in-law. I don't have one. 
But in th but you, your fiance, so in theory, your mother-in-law. It's pretty nice. Tyler, for the joke, your mother-in-law. Oh, oh, oh. Burn. <laughs> How you doing back there, buddy? Handsome. <laughs> so there you go. One of the great, honestly, one of the most fun things, one of the most fun times we've ever had together. Maybe. And it's from the past into the future. I wish I could just put this on the internet right now, but people are going to have to wait a full week. Hashtag Grumpy's Rumpy. You still don't get that, do you? Not at all. You should watch the Sometimes Vlog well, sometimes. Which one is it? That's one of them. <laughs> it's a lot of homework. I actually, today, explained what Grumpy's Rumpy was. In the current vlog? Yeah, today's vlog. I'll watch it then. In the past, about a week ago. Okay. It's the one where I rode the Matterhorn. Oh, that's my favorite. This too. is the same day as that. She watched it. This is the one year anniversary of the second day I ever hung out with Allie. Well. I took a picture with her in Tomorrowland where we aren't. Knew the first minute of the second day I met her. That I was going to hug her once. Yeah. My kidney just turned 51, so. What? What does that even mean? I had a kidney transplant and my transplanted kidney just turned 51 years old. That's why you're such a grumpy old man. Probably. Because your kidney is an old man. Look at this. It's a little Mickey in a rain poncho. My kidney's a middle-aged like, lady. Like, if you really love Disneyland when it rains, like, people say, I love Disneyland when it rains. But if you really loved it, you would put this as your antenna topper to prove yeah. it. And you would just buy a bottle of water and pour it on your head while you were here Constantly. All the time. Constantly. Or you that's don't what really you love do. it. You're just or you words. don't really love it. You're a poser. Mm -hmm. You're a Disneyland rain-loving poser. You don't know any Green Day albums before American Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> we love everyone. We don't care. No, honestly, we like people. I love almost everybody except the people that make me hate them. Yeah. You just hate everyone to start with, and you, you grow on them, and they grow on you, and then later you hate them again. People can't ever tell if I like them or not. This girl at work today was telling me, whenever you talk to me and you say something nice, I can't tell if you're messing with me or not. I just like to think of you as like a Fred Mertz. Like yeah. there's always something going on in your head that you're grumpy about. That's true. So when you're being nice, it's like Tyler's a heck of a guy because he's pretty grumpy and he's still being nice to me. And when you're grumpy, I'm just like, well, there he goes. <laughs> like the time you literally ruined Forrest Gump. <laughs> that was the, the best entire night. movie. That was the best night of my life. <laughs> that was so much fun. The whole movie, we go through the whole movie and it's great, it's a laugh. It's wonderful. Tyler's sitting there saying sarcastic things, but they're not bothering me, it's fine. We get all the way to the end, to the scene where Forrest Gump, and I want you to honestly, if you have Forrest Gump near you, or you haven't thought about Forrest Gump in a while, but you have access to Forrest Gump or Netflix, go watch, if, if you so desire, watch Forrest Gump, pause it after I say this first, I'll tell you when to pause, watch the entire movie, and then start, or watch the end of this again, so you don't even spoil the sometimes vlog, you don't spoil Tyler spoiling the movie for yourself. Mm -hmm. It goes all the way through the movie, Forrest, You've had time to see it. It came out in the 90s. Yeah. I mean, early 90s. He, he loses Jenny and then he gets Jenny back at the very, very end, right? Mm -hmm. And she's got. Spoilers. AIDS? She's got AIDS, right? Uh, uh, she just has sort of a terminal insinuates illness. insinuates that she has AIDS, but she has a terminal illness. She passes away. And then it shows Forrest at their tree, and it's so sad. And he's talking. He's talking to her grave, okay? Pause this vlog now. Go watch the movie Forrest Gump, and then come back, Timmy. You have five seconds to pause it because I'm going to keep talking. Come five, back, Timmy. Four, three. And Forrest says to her grave, he's talking about little Forrest, their son. He wrote you this letter. You do your line. Why well, do you want to do the first? And, and yeah. he's gonna he's putting it down towards the grave, like he's setting the little the sad letter that the little kid that doesn't have a mom anymore wrote, and he's putting putting it down on her grave and he says he wrote you this letter he says you can't read he says I can't read it literally so, so Tyler's voice comes from across the darkened living room literally <laughs> Forrest Gump is saying he says I can't read it and Tyler says literally <laughs> it was hilarious, but it ruined the whole movie. It was I almost like it never was made reaching you laugh the emotional idea. crescendo, you know, yeah. like it was going there. Mm -hmm. And then you just made it funny with your snarky sense of humor. I don't regret a second of it. I regret nothing but these pimples. You got it, buddy. We'll get you some clearasil. 
will we? Maybe. On the way home? Yeah. I don't live with you. We'll stop by Walgreens. Okay. Make sure to subscribe for some more sometimes vlogs and more adventures. I'm on vacation, so I don't know when I'll get back to you, but pretty soon. T-shirts! Like, it's like a four-day vacation. I'm still on Instagram Snapchat. I might be able to squeeze some of those off in the limited amount of cell phone service in the mountain. Mm -hmm. But yeah, live fast and at Spreadshirt.com. We have t-shirts. Not these ones. Disneyland has better ones. Buy theirs first, probably. But when you're done with that, come back to us. What t-shirt are you wearing? Right now, right now? I'm not wearing a t-shirt. Really? I'm totally You're nude. Full I'm totally nude under this other shirt. I'm wearing a Georgia t-shirt. Well, why aren't you wearing the shirt of you and me that says Amigos on it? It's the best shirt ever. I haven't shirt. bought it yet. Me neither. I'm too poor. Mm -hmm. Me too. If you like all these videos and you want Tyler and I to be able to do some road trips and stuff, you go to patreon.com slash Justin Scar. That's how I buy my groceries and fill the gas tank and convince Tyler to come with me by buying him nothing so far, but definitely going to buy you Dr. Pepper one of these days. Like and and um, Justin Scott on Twitter, mm -hmm. Tyler, Brett, two T's, Evans on Twitter. Yeah. Others, others. Yeah, we're around. We're fastside.com. We're in the phone book. Stay on the website. Phone book. Stay, totally stay with me. Yeah. Sam Smith song. Won't back down. Stay with me. Oh, I won't back Smart down. Smart English thing. <laughs> I got a weird shaped head. Yeah. Hey, I'm not hating. He's got a great voice, but he does have a weird head. And some Tom Petty melodies. Songs. Yep, he does. Love you guys. Subscribe. And Sam Smith. Dude, we don't. He's handsome. Well, we don't know him. Well, I'm sure we grow to love him. We'll grow to love you. <laughs> Goodbye. That seems a little too manly for me. Jay, do you have the power of the cobra? Well, he doesn't have it. So, what's what happens Ooh. if you don't have it? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I touch your cobra? Oh, oh, yeah. oh my God. It's amazing. She's yeah. touching his cobra. What just happened right there? The, the power of the cobra. That kind of stuff happens to me all the time. Come on, look like it now!